Okay, so log into Canva, create a design, and then choose custom size. For an email signature, you don't want it to be like ginormous. You only really need something small. So I'm gonna go with 400 by 100 and then hit create. And you can come back and resize that if it's too big or if it's too small. Add a text, put your name in, and then um, change the font. You can search for a script or do like cursive. Let's see. I'll do this one and then scale it up as much as you can to fill the frame. Like here, I'm it's getting cut off. So I'll probably not make it that big. And then you can either center it um, if your email signature is centered, but if your signature is left aligned, which it probably is, just make sure that you scoot this all the way over to the edge. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have padding on the left-hand side. So you'll see you have some padding here. If that really bothers you, you can trim that or crop that outside of Canva. You can't do it in Canva yet. Um, hopefully they'll add that. So next we're gonna add the animation. So click on your layer, click animate. You can do any of these writing styles. I really like um, either typewriter, especially if you don't have a script font, I think typewriter looks cute, but I would probably do this one wipe. And then you can change the speed, like if you want it to look slower. I think, I think you just wanna give the idea that you're signing. So I would make it a little bit faster. And then click out and you'll see you have this timing option here. You don't need five seconds for this animation. You need like one or two seconds. So you'll just drag that down and then you'll click share, download. The video, that will not work in your email signature. So make sure you set this to GIF and then download. And then you'll add that GIF file, which gets downloaded into your signature.